And then uh, please allow me uh, to introduce to you Vit Hanush and Dushan Dubey. Um, Vit Hanush is the principal at Zero Gravity Capital and Dushan Dufek um, is a partner at Zero Gravity Capital. Uh, and you might be wondering what is Zero Gravity Capital? Um, so Zero Gravity Capital is actually a venture capital fund uh, and their focus is fueling early stage innovations. Um, now at this point, I'd just like to hand over uh, the microphone to Dushan who just maybe elaborate um, on his background, Beats, maybe you can elaborate on your background and then you can share um, a little bit more about what Zero Gravity Capital is all about. Sure, definitely. Uh, thank you, Tomas, for, for the introduction. So uh, maybe a few words about myself. Uh, so I'm, I'm Dusan. I'm, uh, I'm based in Slovakia. And uh, four years ago, I started uh, my first company with uh, three co-founders uh, called O100 Ventures. Uh, which basically uh, was was built on the on the fundamentals of venture builder. So uh, four years ago, we basically started uh, first few projects as part of O100 Ventures, uh, co-working space business, uh, venture capital conference business, and we also jumped into the innovation part. So we started to consult with a couple of companies uh, regarding innovation. Uh, and as the time progressed, and as we were also building more and more projects and companies, we also managed to raise a, a fund, which is called Zero Gravity Capital, which is a Slovak-based fund uh, where we have uh, the, the main LP, Slovak Investment Holding, and our basically mandate is to invest into Slovak companies uh, based in Slovakia, up to five years old, and uh, we are basically, you know, uh, focusing, or I can tell, you know, we are pretty agnostic as for the the the, the scope of 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 uh, you know activities or or markets. So we are mainly interested in technology companies that can scale fast and have you know incredible founding team. Uh, also, the fund is of size of uh, 22 million, and our fund is uh, open for uh, next 20, two and a half years. So, yeah, this is in a nutshell. Maybe Vitku, you can uh, introduce yourself as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, so, I'm, I'm Vitek Anush. Uh, I'm coming from Czech Republic, but currently I'm also in Slovakia with the fund. Uh, recently, I had an experience in... Uh, Mergers acquisition, uh, I was doing energy integrations of companies, but also I was quite active in the startup sphere where I was working as a manager in one startup uh, and uh, I was doing a lot of due diligence for MA purposes. So it was a good honor to join uh, Slovak Venture Capital uh, scene and basically to be onboarded and start handling the pipeline for, for the CE region. Very cool. Uh, thank you for that and, and for your elaboration on your backgrounds. Um, so, I mean, we're still in COVID-19, especially in Slovakia. I mean, it seems like we're reaching the end of it, but of course, things are changing all the time and you never know. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe propose a question um, in regards to the, the innovations um, that have recently may maybe gone through your hands at the fund. Um, have you seen any, any differences since COVID-19 um, in, in the number of maybe health uh, products or maybe not particular to your fund or just in the venture capital industry? Because I mean, based on, on a perspective like mine, but when I'm watching the news, I mean, all I see is, uh, is different um, projects, products, uh, applications trying to serve the health ecosystem in one way or another um, so we can get rid of COVID-19 and maybe face um, face epidemics like this uh, better in the future? Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, ever since, you know, the COVID situation started, uh, we've seen a rise of, uh, you know, uh, healthcare or he health related uh, projects or ide ideas. Obviously, it's uh, just a couple of months. So all these ideas are now, you know, in making and, you know, slowly shifting into projects and standalone companies. But definitely there's been a rise, I think also a kind of a 
big uh, influence was the incentives that were provided by governments, but also the you know, European Union uh, and different public institutions that, uh, that organize or have been organizing different hackathons, different competitions, you know, accelerators, where they were basically challenging uh, entrepreneurs to, to apply with their idea to basically help solve the, the COVID situation. Uh, we were also uh, part uh, of, of one hackathon, I can tell. It was called uh, Hack Virus. And it was a hackathon kind of initiative organized here in Slovakia. And uh, it was really interesting to see how many ideas came just from you know, Slovak entrepreneurs and innovators. It was more than 300 ideas that were basically uh, gathered. And then there was a couple of, couple of the ideas were selected and were actually built and uh, one of the idea that we actually know and we've been observing is is a project called Nepripraveni or uh, we are ready uh, which basically built a uh, a product for for hospitals and healthcare facilities uh, and uh, brought, uh, you know, a lot of medical students and, and, and medical staff. So it's basically a platform that connects uh, hospitals and, and medical students, medical staff that is available to come and voluntarily help. And we've seen that from the idea that just came, you know, via the hackathon application, uh, the, the team managed to build standalone products and even managed to, to expand with it beyond Slovakia. And currently, it's a proper project. Uh, it's an established entity that is uh, basically building the product further and is servicing more than uh, 100 hospitals. So this was really a good case of, you know, uh, idea coming to, you know, to reality and even uh, being able to scale it further and, you know, really helping with, uh, with the COVID-19 situation. So definitely, uh, back to your question, there is a rise and we're looking forward to, you know, seeing more ideas turning into projects, turning into companies, and then, you know, uh, meeting with us and, you know, seeing how we can cooperate with them. Um, makes sense. Uh, you've spoken about other companies um, that you sort of, you know, we work with, or I mean, you are heading. Um, maybe I could just ask, what's your perspective, uh, or even with either of you, um, on how we could perhaps better prepare or, or have any preventive measures in a company uh, that are just on standby for when a situation like COVID-19 arises? Is there anything you're looking back at like, oh, we should have done that differently before, either as a, as a capital fund or as a company or, or as a tip for startups? Uh, Vitsku, I'll let you answer this yeah. one first. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, I can definitely say that, that uh, we are very supportive in, in, in any idea. So uh, what we started or initiated is, for example, the mentoring sessions uh, in Slovakia with other funds where basically the whole uh, venture capital ecosystem tried to support uh, startups and new ideas, basically how to undergo this uh, complicated situation with COVID. So I would say basically that uh, if there is anything uh, I can recommend to do, uh, would, I've done better. It's definitely to start these initiatives even sooner and to uh, try to multiply the effect, which might be delivered through any initiative like that. So that's why in the second also to not to hesitate and to ask basically questions to uh, if anyone sees basically that the situation is, is going bad, not to hesitate and to protect any people who can be of help. Uh, that's basically the, the first thing, because I think that a lot of people have been reluctant for quite some time, and this time gets might uh, even worsen the situation or issues which you might have in the business, in the company, in the startup, and that's something that uh, might be avoided in case basically that you react really fast. So I would say it matters. 
Yeah, uh, I can maybe add to this. So definitely, you know, uh, seek help and, you know, not to wait until, you know, things uh, uh, start turning, you know, bad. And, you know, this is, I would say, you know, general uh, advice, uh, which goes beyond the current situation. And I think this is a big opportunity for improvement in this region that uh, entrepreneurs just don't ask enough they don't seek enough advice, uh, which I think is always, you know, uh, a um, it's 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 a negative uh, thing to do, right? So I think uh, the the best we all as entrepreneurs can do is just you know seek advice, uh, ask a lot of questions. You know, there is a lot of uh, good opportunities how we can contact uh, relevant people. Uh, no matter, you know, what we do, what stage our company is in, uh, I think there, you know, there hasn't been better time that it is now to actually being able to contact pretty much anyone with the advice. So, you know, I definitely encourage, you know, entrepreneurs not to keep the questions to themselves or just, you know, trying to create hypothesis, but just really seek advice from more experienced and, you know, successful people in whatever domain or whatever topic you know the entrepreneur is interested in because uh you know it only takes one question the the no uh is default answer but uh, even the no doesn't mean you know anything you can just add you know uh, you can ask another pe people another person so it's all about just being proactive in asking questions so personally this is what i'm also doing you know so this is this has been helping me you know uh during this time or your, you know, or even before the COVID situation. So I would definitely encourage entrepreneurs to ask at that. Dushan and Vit, thank you so much for uh, for joining me today um, and joining all our all our guests and, and our entire audience. Um, and yeah, I, I hope to see you in, in our future editions and I hope uh, all goes well in the situation and, and you're safe. Thank you. It's been a pleasure speaking with uh, with you. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm looking forward to meet each other soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.